Oh, this place is nice. Well, I hope they have food that fits the plates. Tiny food on big plates is just infuriating. Tinka, did you recognize the Mater D? Because I swear I have seen him somewhere before. Have you had sex with him? Barbie? No, I would definitely remember being on top of a face like that. Barbie! I am so hungry, I could eat a kangaroo. The saying is horses, Chelsea. Yeah, but horse meat isn't great. Have you tried kangaroo? It's delicious. Kangaroo meat sounds like the hillbilly equivalent of gator meat. You're the hillbilly equivalent of Selena Gomez. I'm not offended by these. Was he on that show Nashville? I don't think so. Maybe he was on Riverdale. Oh, that show is full of jail bait. You know, those actors aren't actually 16. They're all like 30-something playing 16-year-olds. Where the mater d' at anyways? I need to get my drink on and also look again into those baby blues and figure out where the f I've seen him before. Barbie, weren't you banned from this restaurant last month? Uh, technically, I was banned from the restaurant that it was. This is a new restaurant called A Lotta Ricotta. Italian, yum. That's a cute name. Tommy, in case we have more babies, remember the names A Lotta and Ricotta. So you got banned last month, just before the old restaurant that was a really nice successful restaurant got shut down after a rat infestation. The only suspicious thing about it is where you got the rats from. Wasn't easy. I thought we were freeing those rats from the lab. We did free them. We just freed them to do something for me. Gross. You would think the vegan would have helped us with rescuing the rats from the labs because of all the animal testing, but... Oh, I'm not a vegan because I care about animals. I'm the only animal I love. It's nice to go out and have dinner at a fancy restaurant. Evening. Where are the twins, Yasmin? Did you get a sitter? No, I couldn't get one last minute. It's just like sometimes when I can't get childcare, I put them in the playpen upside down and fill it with snacks. And then I place a few bricks on top of it to keep it steady. Oh my god. Well, it's not like I could call my mother up to come help. And I don't know who my father is. My parents live a bit far. Too fing far. But also, they don't exactly like Tommy. They love him, but like because he's their son. But if he was my son, I wouldn't like him either. He's your partner. He is my baby daddy, and sometimes a good time, but we are not together. But didn't you just talk about having more babies with him? Oh, Stacy. Someone forgot to have the talk with Stacy about where babies come from. As Barbie always says, sex and babies are like drinking and vomiting. Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't, but you always, always try not to. Is he from that reality TV show about love? You know the one. A shot at love with Tila Tequila. No, the one where it's on the beach. Laguna Beach, the hills, Jersey Shore. No, it shows in this decade. Did you just take a pass at my age? It's not Bachelor in Paradise, X on the beach. It's all the same show, just different names and people keep lapping it up. Because watching people both fail and find love is really relatable and hope-filled because we feel less sh when we see people that kind of suck more than us. I guess that's how people feel when they look at you, Stacy. We have been here five whole minutes and I'm yet to see some bread. Don't fancy places always do the free bread thing? This isn't Olive Garden, Tommy. It's a nice place. Hello there, my name is Anselm and I'll be your server today. Finally, I'll get a Long Island iced tea with vegan-friendly alcohol. Anselm? Skipper. Hey, Anselm, what's today's special? What the f***, Anselm? You work here? You said you were busy tonight. Yeah, I'm busy working. What happened to your job at the pineapple store? I can have more than one job. This waiter sucks. Excuse me, can you bring me a small plate of pasta with the marinara sauce, a vegetariana pizza with no cheese on a gluten-free base, and a Long Island iced tea with vegan-friendly alcohol? Also, just to let you know, we are here for a special occasion. It is his birthday. What? It's not Tommy's birthday. I know this, and you know this, but the waitress doesn't know this. Don't you want a free cake? Yes, bitch. I don't understand this menu. Because it's in Italian? Yes. I know, right? Why can't places just speak American? Dad, it's okay. I can help you. Maybe he's a famous TikToker. Well, he's not a thirst trap. He's more kind of boy next door. So maybe he's funny. He looks too serious to be funny. That's what they said about Alec Baldwin until he got fat. But the maitre d' isn't fat. Maybe he's a fitness 
TikToker. Let me check my follows. I know, you're allowed to have as many jobs as you want, but I'm mad that this is the first I'm hearing of it. I just feel like you lied to me. I never lied. You know how much I hate lying. It's such a Gemini thing to do. You know one of my best friends is a Gemini. Such an Aquarius thing to say, always defending those who do the wrong thing. You knew I was an Aquarius when you started dating me. Wait, this looks like cheese. I asked for no cheese. Okay, so it's, it's not cheese. But it does look like cheese, and I'm feeling sick just looking at it. Can you get them to make it again? I don't like the sound of polo verde. I wish I could just order off the kids' menu. Then why don't you? It says ages 12 and under. So? I am not 12 and under. Thank you for the lemonade. We are here for a special occasion. See the younger ginger face freckle girl? She is my niece. 12 years old today. Time flies. Now quickly drink like three quarters to half of it and then we will refill it with water and then we tell the waiters it doesn't taste right and they will do the straw trick to taste it and they will think it's flat and then go get you another one. Interesting! Does that work with vodka? I mean, he could be from a porno. He could be. He does look like that generic type of white guy. Like the sexually aggressive stepson or stepbrother type. Can you just accept the fact that I'm a grown man and I am capable of making decisions? Yes, and it is my prerogative to see this behavior behavior is volatile and a red flag. You always say that whenever I do something that you don't agree with, which is why I don't always tell you things. See? You have a deceptive nature. We all have flaws, Skipper. Don't pretend you aren't flawed. Why can't you accept me for who I am? Can you tell me how your tofu is prepared? Like, I want to know if it's been prepared humanely. Does broken glass in the meal work? Like, I've seen it in movies and such. Not always, but I tell you what does work. Is like a cockroach leg and a lot of dry heaving. Where do you get a cockroach leg? I know a guy. I can't just order from the kids' menu and nuggets are always available. Then get the dang nuggets. It's against the law, Stacy. What law? The law of the menu. How is that a law? It's more like a recommended guy. It's a law and I could go to jail. Do you want your daddy to go to jail? What? Okay, look, maybe you're right, and I may know him because I've had sex with him. But that doesn't account for me knowing him. Oh, Tinka, not getting any strange going through your kitty cat door? I get plenty of... I mean, I'm not unsatisfied with you just... Look, it's okay. You don't have to explain your sad sex life to me. Sweet 16, but we could only afford a nice dinner here instead of throwing her a party. Obviously, she's a bit upset. So whatever you can do to make it special will be just wonderful. Can I do the next one? Let's practice it first. I don't want you to blow our cover. Please, I'm the original prankster. I can't blow it. As a vegan athlete, I am offended that when I ordered the polo alla romana, you didn't ask me if I wanted chicken or not. I know it is a chicken dish, but you're the one in the wrong for not asking. Dad, just order the nuggets. You have Chelsea here, who is under 12, and will most likely counter your kid's order by ordering the lobster. But they will see me eating the nuggets and call the police. The only one that they should call the police on is Tommy. One, for the outfit he wore tonight, and two, for his dicketry. Maybe we'd both go to jail and we could share a prison cell. I don't want to tell you what to do with your life, Anselm. I just want to know if you want me to be a part of it. We are free spirit, Skipper, and we cannot just set our lives in stone and live in the lockstep of maintaining those ideals to which the picket fence people prescribe themselves to. There is no joy if all we do is live in the moment, Anselm. Life has low moments too, and we have to feel those as deeply as we fly in the hearts. But how can you expect me to soar if you tell me I cannot dream? So you're also a vegan? I doubt that. You're a fake vegan. Real vegans call out restaurants for their obviously discriminatory menus. There needs to be at least three to seven percent more vegan options. I wish they just had an adult equivalent to nuggets and a complimentary ice cream. Maybe then just get some chicken and garlic pizza and we'll order the gelato for dessert. It's not the same. Complimentary food just hits different. I can order the chicken nuggets for you. Barbie is the one who would and does involve you in illegal activities, not me. Chicken nuggets are hardly illegal. They're so good they should be. Maybe we've seen him with someone we know. You're right, Aunt Millicent knows everyone. Maybe Aunt Millicent knows what he's been in. You mean other than her? So you see, it's a special dinner because it's not only my dad's birthday, but it could be his last. It's just too much, you know? Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> Cancer and his birthday. Very nice. Look, it is not ethical. 
but a sob story and waterworks usually get the goods. I let you pick the restaurant every time. You never realize that by giving me all the decisions, I'm doing all the work. I just want you to have what you want. Sometimes I want a night off. A night off of me? That's not what I said. So you're telling me the side of steamed vegetables is a vegan option. Okay, great. Sounds delicious. I will have it and some fries. But are the fries prepared humanely? Why don't you just go crazy and order dessert first? Only psychopaths order dessert first, Stacy. I order dessert first a lot. What? Why would you? You save the best for last, Stacy. You save the best for last. He might even be a street performer. But honestly, I'm convinced I've seen him on a TV show before. Actors do generally have to work menial part-time jobs like this. I would hate to wait on people. It's the worst. Not for you, obviously, because I'm great. Uh-huh. I told you it was a dream. You cheated on me with a girl you met at a frat party, and I'm not supposed to believe your subconscious desire is to be with her instead. I knew I shouldn't have told you about it. See? You want to conceal the truth from me. Jess, such a happy occasion to celebrate their engagement on her birthday. Tinka and Barbie would make a handsome lesbian couple if they weren't siblings. Could you imagine if that happened before they found out that Tinka was Turi? So weird. I mean, we can't say that it hasn't happened fully because we still don't know who Todd is and Barbie carves up this town faster than a teppanyaki chef cuts onions. I just don't know why we would both know his face. Maybe it's been on a wanted poster. We could solve a murder. I'm not allergic to egg, but I feel like my objection to eating food that has been prepared in the same kitchen is enough to make me sick. We could try the pubic hair in food trick. Beard hair is more hygienic to harvest and looks like pubic hair, but you really have to know what the chef looks like. My girlfriend Chloe tried this once at a restaurant where the chef was an albino woman. Didn't she just look like a fool? I don't care what you order, Dad. You're just being difficult. I'm being difficult? You're the one who's telling me what to do. Because you're being difficult. We could have seen his face on a milk cart. What, he's too young to have been a missing child on a milk cart. Yeah, and I'm too young to have ever seen a missing person on a milk carton anyway. Fine then, starve like the martyr you are. I thought you were a feminist. You shouldn't belittle me by calling me a girl's name when I'm upset. It's offensive. You look delicious, by the way. Are you on the menu? I could have told you about this job a thousand times, but like you would ever notice, you're always on your phone. I am working, Anslem. Researching the psychology of the teenage mind is constant. I cannot get into how much I've invested into carefully curating my Tumblr. See if your Tumblr will take you to prom then. Can you two tone it down? You are being so insensitive. Some of us are trying to figure out where they know the Mater D from. He was in two serial killer documentaries. It was an extra in a Marvel film and he's also been in like six pornos. I knew it! So the lemon sorbet is vegan? Can you send a man over here to explain this? I'll believe it when a man says it to me. Happy, happy, happy birthday! birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday! birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday! birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you! Whose birthday is it? I don't, I don't know, know about this. Yasmin, what do we do? Grab a piece and run! I will have the pumpkin ravioli and the garlic pizza, please. And some chicken nuggets to go for the little one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on social media, links below. Also, check out our merchandise, link below. Love, Sam. And Mickey. He looks so much better in real life. Oh, totally agree. I love you more. No, I love you more. No, I do. I do. Ew to all of this happening right here.